So we're going to talk about how to adjust your audio levels. Now this is very important because if you have very low audio levels and people have to turn off their speakers, then when they go to watch something else, it's going to explode their ears and they're going to blame you. Um, so this is Audacity and this is something that's free software. It works on, uh, on Mac and on Windows. You can use this anywhere. Hopefully your video editor may have some similar tools, but in case it doesn't, you can split the audio, edit it here and put it back in. Um, so let's go ahead and listen to this clip. And uh, while we do that, I want you to watch right up here these, uh, these two levels. Here is some random audio, and you'll notice it's pretty quiet. Okay, so we see that and that only gets to about negative 12 decibels, so that means relatively quiet. We want it to be as close to this zero as we can without going over it, because if we go over it, it's going to actually distort some of, uh, some of what we're doing. So if I were to up the volume to something ridiculous, like this, here is some random audio, and you'll notice it's pretty quiet. All right, now you'll notice that did sort of fix the volume issue. It went over, though, and it distorted the voice. So that's not something we want to do. Instead, what you want is what's called a compressor. And this is basically going to look at the, uh, the peaks in the, in the audio and adjust to just barely uh, what, it, what it can manage. Um, so it's going to kind of adjust the, uh, the softer bits to make them much louder. It's going to take the already loud bits and only make them a little bit louder. Um, now this is a very, very simple uh, compressor and it basically it shows what it's going to do. So if something is super, super quiet, it's not going to do much. If something is very quiet, and this is basically showing the level that it's going to bump it up to. Um, so if something is already as loud as it can go, it's going to stay as loud as it can go. As it can go. If something is already is pretty quiet, it's going to bump it up to maybe half let's see yeah ish um, but you can adjust these if you feel like playing around with them uh, I'm gonna leave them at what they're at but I don't remember what they were at so I'm gonna go uh, and this is right under effects um, so that's the compressor and now if we just hit OK on this and then we can play this again here is some random audio and you'll notice it's pretty quiet all right, and that gets things right up to that zero without going over. You'll notice there weren't any red lines there, even though they're a little hard to see sometimes. Um, one thing, though, is that if you do have background music or anything like that, you don't want it to be right at zero because you're going to need some space to put in other audio. So at that point, I'd probably just decrease everything by about one decibel, and that should give you some flexibility. Here is some random audio, and you'll notice it's pretty quiet. All right, so that's not going to peek it out. It's not going to distort the voice, and that's going to work for you. Now we'll look at this from a more specialist perspective. If you are using Final Cut, there are already effects in here, and hopefully in whatever editor you're using, there are some equivalents. Um, if I go down into effects, uh, there's what's called a limiter, and a limiter is just a really, really hard compressor. Um, so I'm going to drag it, and I apply it to this clip, and then if I go up into the inspector, I can adjust I can adjust stuff here. Um, now typically, the, the way that the limiter is set up is it's only going to kind of reduce the volume to make it relatively, relatively similar. Here's some more random audio. Um, but what we want to do instead is open up uh, the settings and I'm going to change the release here because I don't want it to drastically uh, to drastically stop um, increasing the volume right away because it might clip the end of sentences and then we can just increase uh, the gain that we're going to add um, so I'm going to try let's see 10 or well 15 and now if we look at this waveform it's relatively good. Let's let's take a listen. Here's some more random audio, and you'll notice it's also pretty quiet. And that's just about perfect, honestly. If we look at this gain reduction bar, um, this is basically showing the amount of volume that it could have increased but didn't because it was already at, at maximum. And uh, the output level here is negative 0.5, so that's basically it's already going to not bump it up all the way as loud as it can go. Um, so that you can you can play around with it with music. If we were going to adjust this to something crazy like 30, um, here's some more random audio, and you'll notice it's also pretty quiet. All right, now we saw that that blue bar went much much higher, but the audio still didn't distort because once it gets to that threshold of the output level, it's not going to increase it any higher than that. So this is a nice, quick, easy way to make sure that your audio levels are as loud as they can be without screwing up your voice, um, and uh, make sure that you do it because then people aren't going to be mad, especially people with headphones, because loud noises in headphones results in your brain exploding.